Welcome back to another edition of Talk Nerdy to Me. I am your host, Troy Stegner. And before I get into this next review, man, go subscribe to the channel. You can do it. Ain't nothing to it. Just click a button. Uh, you won't get spam email from me. We don't ask you to buy things. Just click that so that uh, it helps with our, our, gra our uh, metrics. That's the word I'm trying to get. Metrics. Uh, you'll have to pardon me. I have allergies and I took some Benadryl and I'm a little foggy. So yeah. Here we go. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Kohakaru or Kojikaru. I'm not sure if that's a Spanish sounding J or a regular J, but this is from Mike Mignola. Mignola? I think it's Mignola though. The creator of Hellboy. He's creating a whole new Mignola verse. This one is just the one of the ones of the Mignola verse. It's separate from Hellboy. It's not in the same realm universe as Hellboy. He's creating his, a new horror uh, themed universe for himself, you know, but like Lady Baltimore and and uh, what was it the Deathless? So this one, I, I kind of like it. I, I I like where it's going. It's a lot of supernatural stuff, and if you've been watching my other videos, you know, supernatural and occult type things. Uh, they interest me. I, I like reading about them uh, a lot, and that is you know, and if you like Hellboy, this is. This would easily, I mean, he could easily throw this in the Hellboy universe. It'll fit. Not a problem. It'll dovetail right into it. But I believe he's keeping these separate from Hellboy. So, Koharaku, uh, Kohakaru, which is why I'm going to say it, or unless somebody tells me I'm wrong with Kojakaru. Anyway, the Skinner, it starts out uh, as uh, Mignola does. A lot of his stuff, he likes to theme it around World War II. Uh, if you watched Hellboy or read Hellboy, you know something about that time frame in the, of the country he just really loves. Starts right out with witches floating around, dude. And they're just, they're, they're making short work of all these dudes. Uh, then it kind of puts over to uh, the military guys with the, you know, you know it's World War II, look at the helmets. They got the crazy metal helmets. They're trying to get somewhere where they can get away from, like, they're running toward the cathedral uh, because witches, you know, in religion, those two things, typically in mythology and lore, they don't mix, but, you know, depends on who the storyteller is. But in Mignola's world, they do not. So the witches are just mowing them down. Uh, they, so they don't make it to the cathedral, but then you got these other group of witches. So basically, it's, it's almost like, uh, you know, Wizard of Oz. You got your good witches, your bad witches. They're calling them white and black. You know, in, in uh, Wizard of the Oz, it was, you know, the Wicked Witch of the West and Glinda. So Glinda's the white witch, she's the good witch, the other one's bad, according to her um, viewpoint. And the, they are, the white witches are summoning some help. They summon the title character, Kohokaru, to come and help them, uh, the Skinner. So basically, she's a witch hunter, and then you know it shows a little bit about how uh, the, the witch hunter's origins, you know, as a little girl, how she's tied into Joe Golem, and they summon her, you know, and she's like, oh, you know, I was asleep, my my peaceful sleep was great, but I really missed doing this, killing witches, and so she's going, she's mowing through them, mowing through those guys. And she gets to, yeah, I mean, they're, she's got, the, I guess it's some kind of magical sword. She's just slicing and dicing through them. And they can't figure, you know, the, the, the dark, the black witch, you know what? What she's holding right here in that panel almost looks like the dark saber. I know it's not, though. Unless, you know, they want to do a Star Wars tie-in, which I don't think they do. So, yeah, you know, Joe Golem, uh... The Cult Detective is another one of Mignola's uh, tie-ins with this uh, universe. And so is Lady Baltimore. Yeah, uh, the Kohakaru, uh, is, they summon her and basically they're having her fight for them and she's just waylaying them. Then something happens to her and... Yeah, the next thing you know, she's like laying on the ground. 
We don't know what's going on. Uh, and, and that's kind of where it ends. Uh, I like the whole occult aspect of, of this. Um, one second. I didn't tighten my mic stand. It keeps falling into frame. <laughs> Sorry about that. So the occult supernatural aspect of this is awesome. Uh, you know, Mike Mignola, he's great at writing that stuff. I just look at Hellboy. Uh, it's set during World War II. You have the good witches, the white witches are fighting for the allies, and the black witches are just, they're black witches. They don't, they're, they're kind of helping the Nazis, but more helping themselves than anything. And that's when, you know, they, they summon Kokaru, the white witches. And we find out about that character, that she's this really awesome witch hunter from days gone by, uh, but they bring her back. Um, one of the witches gets a, a cut in on her, and that's when she falls. Falls, her eyes roll back, but then uh, the one girl comes up, boom, revives her. So I have a feeling issue two, she's going to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some more of those Nazi army, or more that she's going to be fighting against the bad witches some more. I uh, haven't really seen the Nazis in here yet. Mignola does like the the German army from World War II, also, especially if you've watched Hellboy. You see, I mean, that's that's how they summoned Hellboy. It was the Nazis using Rasputin and everybody. They uh, it's a good one. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one a uh, thumb sideways, sideways. Anyway. This is definitely worth picking up, at least for the first issue. Pick it up and see. If you like Hellboy, I think you'll like this one. It, it took, you know, three-fourths of the first issue just to introduce us to the title character, Kokaru. And we don't know much more about her. You know, you get a little bit of her backstory, not much. You, you find out more about the white witches and the black witches. So hopefully we're going to delve into her origin, um, what, you know, how she actually got to be Kuwakaru the Skinner uh, because like I said if he's setting up his Mignola verse he might be positioning her just to be a, a crossover character with some of the other ones or maybe they're going to continue this one if it catches on. I think for it to catch on big time mainstream it's going to have to pick up the pace in issue two and uh, we need to see a lot more. I mean don't get me wrong there's a ton of gore and violence in this first one, but none of it really advances the story. It's just we're, they're fighting. Uh, we don't know why they're fighting except that one is black and one is white. Uh, we, and, you know, one's on the ally side and one's kind of with the Nazi side. I, I want to find out more about what motivates those, those two covens of witches to side with who they sided and why they're fighting with each other and why witches aren't united uh, you know, fighting against, I guess, all of them. We will find out in Kohakaru issue number two. If you like that video, you'd like to see more of it, subscribe. Go ahead, go subscribe. The button's down here on the bottom somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where. Hit it, subscribe. It helps with our metrics a ton. It helps us to do more videos like this so that we can keep providing free content for you guys. And while you're at it, hit that bell icon and you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. And until you see that new video, later nerds. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or read? What kind of class do you play, girl? In an RPG.